So being inspired by some of your setups, I wanted to do something myself. Now, because I've had a new editing rig in the uh, studio, I wanted to set up a nice little desk with the monitor and somewhere that I could actually do some real work. Now, along with the inbuilt RGB in the system, I wanted to actually look at bringing it outside and having something like a light panel, but I actually wanted them to sync up. So today I thought I'd share a bit of a mod that I've been working on where we can actually take the RGB from inside of a computer using a controller or your motherboard to the outside with a simple plug and play system. Now the initial thinking around this mod is that we have a system like this. Now if you've been following the channel you'll know that this is my super budget gaming PC and we recently installed an RGB controller with fans. Now what I want to do is to be able to sync into that controller and bring it to the outside so that if I create something like a lighting panel or some atmospheric lighting around my monitor that it will actually all sync up perfectly. Now to do this the initial thinking is that we're going to do it using USB ports on some kind of PCI card. We'll need some four pin RGB connectors, a panel mount USB connection which will replace these white ones on here with some black ones so they blend into the system and then we'll build a cable that will hook into the existing controller whether that be on the four pin system to the motherboard or whether it be to something like a six pin system on a cool moon and then obviously we need the lighting so the idea is that this lighting will be on the outside of the computer synced up to the controller built in. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our PCI card with the USB extensions and we're going to remove the existing ones. This is as simple as removing the screws from the back and taking off the cables. Now that these cables are off, we'll just put them to the side. Now because the system we're testing on is going to be using a cool moon controller like this, which uses a six pin proprietary connection, I've actually created an adapter already. This will allow us to create a system that works off the standard, but also one that we can plug into one that isn't standard. So the idea is that this cable will link to a USB cable which we will take the end off and put a new end on. Then this panel mount will mount back to the PCI cable and then our LED light or whatever system that we want outside will have a USB end fitted and will simply plug into the panel mount and that way we've got a very clean way of getting our RGB from inside the system synced up to anything on the outside. So to do this we need to cut this cable to length. Then we can strip the wires back on both. The USB cables tend to come shielded but we're not interested in that, we don't need that for this. So we can simply just chop that off here. And then we've got the wires exposed. Now to do this, a lot of the wires already do line up in colour wise, so I'm going to line up red to red, green to green, black to black, but then the RGB system has a blue because of RGB, whereas the USB has a white, and this just makes it so that we can replicate the cable again with ease. Now that we've both got both cables split, what you need to do is before you solder them all together, you need to make sure that we put any of the heat wrap or heat shrink or anything like that that we want on them. Now I'm going to actually braid these cables eventually so that they look really tidy in the system so we'll install all that now. So to begin with we're going to make sure we put some heat wrap over the little tiny cables so that they can't touch once they're soldered. And then on the bigger side we're going to install a few different pieces. One to seal up the, all the wires, one to wrap down the end of the braiding and another one to wrap down the other end of the braiding. So this is the braiding that we're going to be using and this is a 4mm braiding which should fit just snug over the wires. Now that we've got our braiding on all we need to do is now solder up the wires and tidy up the cable. Now that all of our cables are soldered and insulated We've cut a piece of extra wire, or at least the coating of a wire, and we've split it down the side. And what this will do is this will cover the wire in, 
to give it the same thickness pretty much as the rest of it so when the braiding goes on we don't have a big dipped patch in the cable so we'll put that on and we heat trap it down so that it basically creates a continuous wire loop then we can just simply feed our braided cable over the top now that the braided cable is over the top we can trim it back and we can install the heat wrap either end to just give it that tidy look so now that we've got a nice tidy panel mounted braided cable we need to make another one and attach it to the back plate and then we're ready to do the next bit so we finished making our cables and we've got our two panel mounts that are now braided with RGB ends on them and a USB on the other side onto a PCI card. Now this card will simply just go into the machine, screw in and then allow us to connect to either the motherboard via RGB or via ARGB and that's why I use the four pin ones because you'd be able to use them for either. I've got our machine out and we're going to give this a test. Now because this is using a cool moon controller, as I've said before, we're going to be using an adapter cable which I've already created and already added into the system. So all we need to do is simply add this card in, connect it up to one of these and see if it works. So with the PCIe card now installed, what we can do is we can simply plug it into the con controller adapter, lining up the two arrows on the actual connectors and now the RGB or the ARGB on this system should be being sent to the rear USB. Now to test this, I've created a quick test cable, which is simply a USB cable with an ARGB strip. And all we need to do is plug it in and it should light up. Now using the remote control for the system, we can now simply change the colors of the system and the patterns and our ARGB from internal is now been extended outside of the system in a very clean plug and play way which will be really useful for any of those extra things you want around your monitors on the walls and anything like that now this will work against your motherboard because you can simply just plug it in from this connection and there's two of them so you can actually connect it to two different controllers or you can connect it to two different headers on your motherboard and you can send different signals to them. So if you had a bit of a theme going where you had two different sets of RGB, this system would work brilliant for it. If you like videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we do lots of different mods and we've got lots more planned for the future. Uh, and make sure you give this video a like if you like what we've created.